Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again if you're watching online at onespotmedia.com. Business operators are this evening insisting that the government consider options outside of curfews as it seeks to get the current spike in COVID-19 cases under control. The business operators say the tighter curfew measures, which took effect this week, will have economic implications. But Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says curfews have worked. Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced tighter curfew measures in Parliament on Tuesday to curb the spike in COVID-19 cases. But some business operators argue that the 8 p.m. curfew is a bad idea. William Mafood is the chairman of the Wisinka Group. I'm, I'm very concerned about uh, the impact on a lot of small businesses. Um, not only small businesses, on businesses on a whole. I mean, you know, the, the challenge that I think a lot of people are going to find is that we're trying to get more people, for example, to shop during, uh, you know, a shorter window of time. People who work and a number of offices have reopened, et cetera, and have to get home by, say, five o'clock uh, to then try and fit into that window between five and six, because most business places will have to close at six in order to allow their staff to go home. I think it's going to be a challenge. Mr. Mafood says the impact of the curfew measures on the economy must be considered. He also argues that he understands that there is a need to balance the economic situation with public health. So instead of an island-wide curfew at 8 p.m., he points out that other options could have been considered. Maybe put more restrictions on elderly, you know, so put curfews on, on elderly people and people who are at more at risk. Um, I definitely think we have to, you know, I know the government has, has made a significant stride uh, in, the, in improving the, the ability to get tested. We need to do more of that. I also believe that we need to really, ex, you know, increase the speed at which we're going to start vaccination programs. In a statement on Wednesday, the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, said while it understands the need for the tightened curfew hours, the reduction in working hours could see some reversal of the recent economic gains and the recovery of jobs. The organization said there should be a greater emphasis on compliance and enforcement without further curtailing business activity. It urged the government to fast-track this effort of enforcement and compliance through the issuing of tickets with prohibitive fines for not complying with the COVID-19 measures. Speaking on TVJ's All Angles last night, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton said health officials have found that one of the most effective ways to deal with COVID-19 is to restrict movement. He argued that curfews have worked. Now, it's not to say that some of those other suggestions don't have value. And, and these are things that we need to look at. We need to look at greater enforcement and we need to look at a number of other things. But frankly speaking, we needed a, a, a method at this point in time that was effective, known to be effective. And unfortunately, even at the cost of business activity, we needed to deal with the public health issue. As for the ticketing system... The ticketing is something that we're working on, the Ministry of Justice... It's been and a year, Dr. Tufton. It's not like that, that long uh, to bring legislation to Parliament when the IMF was holding the whip over us. I can't give you a justification for the length of time, but I know that the both ministers are working diligently. And I'm told by Minister Chuck that something should be in Parliament in the next week, two maximum. So I'm looking forward to that myself because I do believe that we need to utilize that option.